Hey, it's Dr. Allen here at Evolve Chiropractic uh, in Woodstock. I'm going to go over how to sit in a chair. So this is for all my patients that have low back pain. Uh, you're really nursing a, a back problem right now. It's just hard to move, essentially. Um, so what we want to do is, is learn how to sit down and stand up without putting the spine into a flexed or stressed position and keep it up nice and neutral. So ideally what we want to have is what we call a slot-legged stance. Now if you're getting pain down your legs, one side or the other, uh, you're going to pick your strong leg or your good leg. So what we want to do is put the good leg in the back, right up kind of right by the chair where the, the end of the chair is, and your not so great leg out in front. So from here we're going to keep the chest up nice and tall, put the weight on the back leg as you go into a hip hinge. And then you find the edge of the seat. Once we're there, we're going to scoot our butt back and come into the position. Now, if we want to stand, we reverse that same process. So you're going to scooch to the edge of the seat first, tuck your leg back, chest stays up, push into the strong leg, and stand up from there. Now, it's good to kind of practice this the first few times you're doing it, just a couple repetitions. It also helps if you want to use a stick just to make sure that you're hinging at your hips and you're not rounding in from your spine. A lot of the problems that people have is when they sit down, we round like this to sit. We're putting a lot of stress and tension into the discs in the low back. So when we do sit, you wanna make sure that chest is on top of the, the pelvis. And if you are bending forward, you're hinging at the hips down here, and then you can sit. So that's a pretty good exercise to practice, just kind of hip hinging. Again, that slot-legged stance and then come back up to neutral. So this should help, especially if you're having pain getting up from a seated position or when you go down into a seated position. While you're in the seated position, it's important to make sure that your, you know, your knees are pretty much level with your hips, your feet are underneath. Um, if you need some kind of a pillow or support behind the back, uh, that would be helpful too. Um, in this case, I'm gonna grab a little bolster here uh, this is a pretty big pillow, but nonetheless, it gives me that back support. Now, you don't have to have anything actually touching your back uh, if you don't want. Um, this would be totally fine. If you have a bigger computer chair, um, you can have that reclined back to about 110 to 120 degrees. Uh, but the important thing is that you have a nice support back here. A lot of the built-in lumbar supports usually aren't enough. Uh, just something to keep in mind, but the most important part here is that slot-legged stance. And I'll say you're getting out of your car. What you're going to want to do is a very similar thing, but you're going to swing your legs out of the car, scooch to the edge of the seat, put your feet down, and then stand up. If you have a huge truck, uh, you're kind of out of luck on that one, so um, be careful. Yeah. Anyways, that's uh, how you can sit down, stand up, without creating a whole bunch of pain in your back. Uh, hopefully this helps and kind of keeps you going on that rehabilitative process while we're healing. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, be safe. We'll see you next time.